Hello again everyone as usual, I'm Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Terraria. Oh dear. That was perfect timing. So we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. And um... Like I said, that is perfect timing! A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. I don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of that. Anyway, uh, before we continue, uh, so last episode, we explored... Let's see, we checked out the... Uh, jungle a little bit. We checked out the... Uh... Pyramid. And... I think that was mainly it for that stuff. And then we did end up fighting the Eye of Cthulhu last episode, actually. So, yeah, that was exciting. Uh, unfortunately, I have not actually gotten more time into uh, playing off-camera. Uh, just mainly because life has been busy lately. Um, uh, if, in case you guys haven't heard, I actually started a new job. Uh, two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Anyway, I started a new job recently, uh, so I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things here. Um, I'm trying to balance, you know, the whole YouTube uh, work thing, uh, which actually brings me to my next point. Uh, I am actually planning on taking uh, at least a week off of YouTube, possibly two weeks, depending on how I'm feeling, just because uh, starting next week. Uh, so, this is going to be the last episode, uh, of Terraria for at least a week, or whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. There, there's not going to be an episode next week. Maybe there'll be an, ep uh, an episode the week after that. I'm not entirely sure. I guess it's just, you know, how I'm feeling. Um... No, no real reason, just, you know, want to take a break from YouTube, play other games. Uh, I also wanted to try and uh, get back into streaming a little bit. Uh, so if you guys actually have any ideas of any games you guys want to watch me stream, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to have your ideas. Uh, just as a quick uh, note, though, because I am not made of money, uh, the game uh, unfortunately cannot be super expensive. Uh, unless it is an extremely, um, uh, extremely content-filled game. I'll, uh, I'll say that. So if it is a very good game, and it's, uh, relatively expensive, then I'll look into it. Um, but with that being said, if you guys would be able to help me out by giving me recommendations, that would be much appreciated. So yeah. Uh, also, one more thing I do want to say. Uh, you guys might hear it in my voice. Um, my throat's not doing too well. I'm not entirely sure why. I've, I, I don't feel physically sick. It's just my throat has just been all kind of scratchy the past couple days. So just putting that out there. You guys can probably hear that in my voice. Anyway, let's check this out. So I'm assuming if I step into the rain, I'm going to get hurt. Maybe not. Okay. So, a toxic downpour. Dear lord, that's dark. Holy crud. Let me go get that night vision thing that we got last episode and see if that'll help at all. Holy crud. Normally, I can barely see on my own, but I can barely see that at all. Where's the uh, boss chest? Maybe I didn't label it. I didn't label it. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, so let's favorite this item. There we go. Oh. It's actually hindering our sight because it's technically day. Yeah, it's actually hindering our sight because it's technically day. Oh, dear. Okay. This is interesting. So let's head over there and see what's going on. I'm assuming as soon as we start getting into the, uh, the Wasteland Sea, I think it called it, biome, uh, then we'll end up getting hurt, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, Dryad! Nice! There we go. Oh, 
wonder if she'll sell anything different. Alright. Uh, also, is the, uh... Uh... Barkeep in this, uh, version? I think he is, isn't he? I think he was actually added in 1.3. Was he not? Anyway. Um... Oh, wait, don't you have to find him underground somewhere? I think you do. I think that's, uh... What we have to do. Oh, also... Okay, we can also explore down there if we want to. Quite simply because... I mean... There's something to explore. Okay. So let's head over here. Yeah, we're... I, I don't believe we're quite ready to fight other bosses just yet. Um... In fact, I'm surprised we were able to beat the Eye of Cthulhu with the little stuff that we got. Uh, we need better ranged uh, stuff, whether it be actual range or it be... Oh, Blacksmith! Wait, Blacksmith? That's new! Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, we need better um, uh, gear, uh, whether it be actual um, uh, ranged weapons or just like ranged melee weapons. We need something that can hit at a better range and does more damage than our uh, boomerang. Because that, although it's good, is not great. So, yeah. And unfortunately, I don't know about... Uh, ow. I don't know about, like, the progression that we have to run through for uh, uh, modded here. I mean, I can easily just look up a uh, guide uh, for both modded and for uh, normal Terraria. But that kind of defeats the purpose of exploring. Traveling merchant? Ugh. Okay, normally traveling merchants are here for a whole day. Tracker? Okay. So I'm assuming just by defeating a boss, we got a bunch of new NPCs to pop in, huh? That's cool. Okay, anyway. Uh, we'll check out the traveling merchant in a second. Um... Yeah, this is the Toxic Sea. Acid Rain? What the? No, I, I, I said Acid Rain, not Bixby. There we go. Nuclear Toe. What? Oh, ow. Okay. What is this? This is some kind of event, obviously. Uh, can you read it? Uh, decorationist. Ble uh, acid eel. Okay. Oh God, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this and go back for the uh, traveling merchant. Unfortunately. Oh, I see. If you get close to them, they explode. Skyfin. Oh. They hit the platform and then they can't uh, continue. That's good. Okay, so yeah, these guys, we cannot attack uh, melee at all, really. I think that was a bubble. So I suppose while we're here, we could check out the, uh, whatever those, um, treasures, uh, are. They're further on. Oh, that's another Skyfin. And it's stuck. You moron. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. So fear it's scale. Oh god. Bingo the mutant? Okay. That's strange. I am very happy that we have a bunch of new NPCs. And a lot of them are actually modded, too. So that's gonna be really fun. So what is the purpose of this Acid Rain event? Obviously, there's gotta be something to it, right? You're gonna come down and fall anyway. Thank you. And we're getting these sulfuric scales. So those are obviously gonna be used for something. Yeah, let's try and get these nuclear toads away. There we go. Yeah, I can fight basically everything else here with relative ease. It's the toads that I can't really fight too well because they explode whenever I get near them. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see. Hello. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on time, actually. We got 30% done in about four hours, maybe. And again, that would put us at about 12 hours, so and we might be cutting it close. I don't know if we'll be able to meet the traveling merchant. I mean, on the flip side, let's be real here. We don't really have enough money to buy anything from him. So, yeah. Come on, Skyfin. I know you want to attack. Radiator. Huh. There's also a scale down there I want to get, but I can't. If I go down there, I'm gonna end up getting uh, poisoned. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Oh boy. Right. I think I can come down here and attack him. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So I'm really worried that once I finish this, that will summon something. I don't think we're gonna summon the boss that I found off camera because that is something that just sits around or rather it just randomly spawns I'm sure you could probably get an item to uh, spawn it as well though party girl okay not super thrilled about that because she's not new but whatever how are you still flying why do you fly half the time and then like just fall the other half I want to try and get some of those treasure things that are over here. Okay. So when does the uh, acid rain end? Like, does it have an actual end? Or is it just whenever you beat the event? Because I know, like, uh, the goblin invasion, for example, doesn't end until you actually beat it. Is this the same? Or is this kind of like a uh, slime rain? I know Slime Rain, for example, doesn't always end, or rather, it doesn't always uh, let you summon the King Slime. Uh, sometimes the Slime Rain just ends. In fact, that actually happened off camera uh, between the episodes a couple episodes ago. Uh, I had the Slime Rain, and I was going to be like, okay, I'm going to save this for on camera. And then it just ended, I'm like, okay, well, that happened. Let's come over here where there's a lot less eels. Because I can't really fight the eels. Assuming coming close to the toads uh, and making them explode does not count as me killing them. Well, let me test it. Wait, what the? Okay, I guess because I'm out of the zone, it doesn't count. That sucks. That's a lot of toads. So that was a lot of bubbles just there. Glad I did not get hit by them. This is such a weird event. I love these mods! Okay. These radiators. Hey there, acid heal. What's up, buddy? That's another scale that I'm gonna jump in for. Gah! Not something I can pick up. You were something that actually attacks me. Alright, that sucks. Okay, so we're getting kind of close. I hope 
hope I don't make a mistake by completing this. There's another Skyfin. Hey, the acid eel's up here now, so I can just do this. Ow. Probably a bubble, I think that was. So what are these sulfuric scales used for? It's a good thing we got the, uh, recipe, uh, thing, mod, whatever. Okay. 87%. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely getting close. I don't know if we're going to make it before the Traveling Merchant runs away. Oh, well. All the other guys are going to stay, though. Oh, dang. My health is getting dangerously low. Uh, let's open these. We have a healing potion. That is beautiful. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay. There we go. I should probably put a couple more campfires down around here, shouldn't I? That'd probably be a good idea. Nice. These toads remind me of the uh, lurker toads from Jack and Dexter, actually. Ow. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're at 96. Ow. I'm almost certain it's the bubbles that are hurting me. Oh, dang it. Hello. Can you not attack me, please? Thank you. 98. Oh, nice. It's up here. 99. I'm assuming... Ow. Ow. Okay, the sulfuric skies begin to clear. That's it? That's it? There's no real, like, point to it? Unless maybe that now opened the path- <coughs> opened the path for something else later on. Because I know, like, for example, with the Goblin Tinkerer, uh, once you defeat your first Goblin Invasion, the Goblin Tinkerer will sh uh, will randomly spawn in the uh, uh, underground. There we go. Uh, okay, let's just put these along here. I don't know the actual distance of these out uh, heal for, but I'm gonna put a couple down. I know we're gonna need some healing later on once we uh, do fight whatever that thing was. I think it was called the Aquatic Scourge. Let me make just one more. Whenever we do eventually fight that thing, we're definitely gonna need uh, health. And we're gonna cheat a little bit here. And, uh, boop -ba -doo. Boop -ba -doo. there we go. Oh no! I cheated. So, our merchant had this last episode. Let me try to use the purification powder on the crim uh, crimstone with crimson. No. 6% crimson. Okay. What do we got here? The usual stuff. Dirt rod. Eh. Jungle rose. Suspicious looking eye. You sell that. That's awesome. Ro Roma Jetta Orchid? Summons a never forgotten friend? Huh. Amphibian egg. Equipable. Transforms you into a frog. When transformed, you're smaller and can jump incredibly high. Cannot use conventional items while transformed. What? 
that's so weird. Alright. Uh, what kind of money do we got? We have 30 gold. Let's see uh, if we can buy anything. Also, uh, Dalton, who are you? I'd be surprised how effective a single shoulder pad can be. <gasps> oh! light up their surrounding area and pack quite a punch. It would be best if their numbers dwindled even just a little. Uh, never have I heard of a creature with such terrifying power. It's pink. It's mean. I'm so confused. So... your medals over there. I think I put those in my miscellaneous, yeah. Five to check those. Two and two. I wouldn't have enough for all these. I don't really want that though, do I? No. So let's buy that. Let's buy that. I'm curious. I know I just like hang this up somewhere. Or... Yeah, it looks like I just hang this up somewhere. If I kill a pinky, then I can unlock the rosy slime staff. Uh, if I kill whatever this thing is, then I can unlock the grim pedestal, and so on and so on. Oh! Okay. Interesting. It's so weird. I love it. Okay. What about you? Who are you? Oh, you must be the decorations. This one decoration here fits right into your room. Oh, God. We got freaking meme paintings. We got F. Bendy cutout? Is that from that uh, game? Uh, Bendy in the... No, no. Is Bendy in the... No, it's... Um... Anyway, that ink machine one. I don't think it's Bendy in the ink machine, is it? Whatever. Uh, cat map. Okay, weird. Alright, what else do we got? We got, uh, this guy, Hendrick. Uh, the short one, Diaz, gives me an ex uh, gives me an ample supply of ore. I wonder where he gets it. Who's Diaz? Ah, demolitionist, gotcha. Steel helmet. Okay, so this guy sells steel stuff. Blacksmith's barrier. Reduce this amount of knockback you take from getting hit. That's cool. Let's see. Arcane Armor Fabricator. Allows you to craft unique weapons and armors? Okay. I don't know anything about that just yet, so I'm not going to fiddle with it. Uh, let's talk to the Dryad. All right, we already did, didn't we? I want to buy the amphibian egg and the uh, orchid. We don't have enough for the orchid. I did want to buy that because it sounds fun, but I don't want to waste my gold on it. Party girl, I doubt you have anything interesting. Uh, let's see. Concert tickets. Increases maximum inspiration by two. Every nearby ally increases your inspiration by generation. So, are these, like, class things really only good for multiplayer? Because I'm not really sure how they're supposed to help you. Whatever, anyway, then you are apparently the mutant. Where do monsters get their gold from? I don't have pockets, you know. Wait, pretty hard to What? Experts token toggles expert mode. Ooh! So 
So we could buy this and then just switch between expert mode, I guess? Mutant's gift. Uh, not for intended with other content mods or modded difficulties. Uh, we got that from this thing down here, so we don't need to bother with it. Eye that could be seen as suspicious. What's the difference between that and the actual suspicious eye? That one's 8 gold. How much are you selling it for? 3 gold. Why does this guy sell that? Whatever. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I see. So this thing here toggles Eternity Mode, which changes all that stuff, uh, including Expert Mode, while this one is just straight up Expert Mode. Gotcha. Uh, expert Mode is the one that adds the uh, reward bags and everything, isn't it? I think it is. So later on at some, <clears throat> some point, we can probably uh, do that. I do want to move these guys around. Uh, Dalton the Tracker. Where are you? There you are. Let's move you up here. It's missing a wall. What do you mean it's missing a wall? It's made the exact same way. Oh. You're kidding. Oh my god. That's so dumb. Whatever. Integration next. Let's go over there. Um, we can put the dryad down here. Um, it occurred to me that the demolitionist, wherever he is, where is he? There he is. Doesn't actually have a uh, valid spot. No, that's fine. Silas doesn't have one either. Uh, party girl. There we go. Okay, then bingo the mutant. Let's just put him in here, I guess. Whatever. Uh, the blacksmith. There you are. And then let's move the tracker. There we go. Alright, so for right now, that's good. I might have to add another layer. This is getting pretty ridiculous, actually. Okay, anyway. Uh, so what is this, uh, friend thing? Yeah. Summons a glitter friend to follow you around. Uh-huh. That's weird. Also, we don't have that guy. I'm good? Not really a big fan of that one. Um, where did I put that? Also, this is our, yeah, this is our boss's one. Let me rename it real quick. Go, save that. Um, oh no. Oh no, this is our blocks one. Pets, maybe? I don't know. We can probably change it up later on. Now, what are these scales for? That is a question. Rusty Medallion causes most ranged weapons to sometimes release acid droplets from the sky. Okay. Uh, so, for his breastplate, so that's rogue damage. We are not a rogue, though. Favorite this item to disable natural acid rain spawns. Okay. We would need 20 for that, though. Yikes. Effigy of Decay. When placed down, nearby players can breathe underwater. This effect does not work in the abyss. Nearby players are also immune to the sulfuric poisoning. Okay. Rusted chest. Sulfur skin poison, uh, potion. Reduces the effects of the sulfuric water. 
causes acid, uh, causes an acidic downpour, so it's basically just something that summons the, uh, event. Acid gun. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's magic, though. Not a big fan of that. Basher, eh. Toxibo. Contaminated bile. Throws a flask of a sickly green irradiated bile, which explodes on collision. Uh, which explodes on collision. Stealth strikes make the explosion much more violent and powerful. Weird. Uh, summons a toad that explodes if enemies are nearby. Okay. Rusty Beacon Prototype. Summons a long-abandoned drone to support you. Clicking on an enemy gives them a tiny prick, causing them to become aggravated. The drone hovers above nearby enemies and inflicts irradiated. Weird. Oh, and that music box actually summons the uh, sound. Uh, the the uh, music. Nifty. Don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Uh, so we'll put that in the drops. And then, um, so it is night. So we do have a little bit of extra night vision here. I did want to try something. Uh, first of all, the night vision, eh, yeah, it doesn't really help much. Okay, so let's uh, do that again. So I wanted to come down below, and uh, actually I talked about this last episode. Uh, and then we got attacked by the I have Cthulhu. Uh, I wanted to try and use um, explosives on like the Thorium and the Bismuth to try and uh, see what I could do with them. Actually, wait, am I wasting my time? I might be wasting my time. Uh, where is a... Th okay, here we go. Actually, that's just normal stuff. Okay. Um, Thorium Blade. I mean... There's really no reason for it. Because... Let's see. Five... Two... Seven... Four... I mean, we could use it for defense anyway. But, as for weapons, it's not great. Um, we could make a pickaxe, I suppose. Yeah, let me look into um, getting some thorium. It's not the best, but it could possibly work, maybe? I don't know. There we go. I know we're going over on time for this episode, so I'll try and make this quick. Okay. Remember where I saw it, honestly. I think it was much further down, was it not? Oh, shut up, phone. Okay. Hop down here. You know, I think it would be really cool uh, if you froze the water uh, that you walked on. Or rather, if you encountered water, you'd freeze it while wearing this armor set. And, like, not like freeze it and turn it into directly ice, but like turn it into that, um,. That like really weak ice. If you were to fall on it, then you'd break it. Okay, so I know for a fact we cannot break bismuth. Uh, I also know for a fact that we don't really want it because it's more of a magic user set. So let's keep heading down. We should encounter the thorium pretty quick here. And I'm gonna use a bomb first because bomb is uh, generally weaker. And if that doesn't work, then we'll use the, uh, uh, oh, hello, uh, the dynamite. I just don't want to go straight to the big guns, because that could be very deadly. Also, I am, oh, gilded lichen, okay. Don't really care too much about that, actually. Ow, ow, ouch. Okay, um, what is that now? Um, let's see if we can just like cosmic elemental. Oh, don't go too far. I think that was close enough. 
that if it were... Can we, can we make a sticky bomb? We can. Okay, let's make a couple of them. There we go. If this works, it does not. Okay. Alright, that's unfortunate. So it's probably not going to work on the thorium then either. Ow. Okay, so we'll come over here. Um... I suppose the best way to do this would be to, uh, I don't know. Let me break the platform here. And then just throw this down. There we go. It did work! Okay! Wait, Vanquisher Metal, what? That was a contracted monster? How so? Okay. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. Alright, so that did end up actually working then. So let's do that. Nice. I don't think we'll be able to actually get anything with this, though. Oh, there's some more over there. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Then. Oh, this is going to be so slow. Um, I'll use the dynamite. Because the dynamite has a much larger uh, blast radius. Oh, this is going to take forever. It's such a small amount, too. How do you make the, uh... 12. How do you make the bar? It's, uh, 4. 4 times 12 is, what's... Uh, not 60, 48. I believe. So we need a total of 48. We're at 20. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 maybe? I think I'm counting about 14 there, which would put us at around uh, 34. Yeah, so it's definitely not going to be enough. So I wonder if I were to get some of the, uh, uh, was that silt I think it's called? Some of the stuff that you can run through the extractinator. Uh, wait, can you run sand? You might be able to run sand through it. Um, uh, and then run it through the extractinator. I know that's a way that you can get a lot of, uh, uh, ore. Yeah, see, that's unbreakable with this pickaxe. Mainly, I just want to try and get a better pickaxe is all I'm trying to do here. Let's be real. Okay, so let us get a sticky dynamite. because that's going to be a big explosion. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's some life quartz down there, too. Okay. Um. Why am I still going? I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. We are way over on time. You know what? Whatever. Yeah, we're going over on time. I don't want to waste any more time here. Um, yeah, so, that's not enough. There's two up there that'll bring us up to 38. Yeah, so that's still not enough. Dang it. Okay, well, uh, I will try and do some more... Oh, there's some thorium up there. I hate myself. I hate myself so much right now. Oh, God. Why am I doing this to myself? God, look at that glitchy spider over there. Uh, where was it? It was up inside the, uh... Spider den. Oh, there's another sword. Okay. Where in here was it, though? There it is. That should be enough. <clears throat> if my math is correct, this should be the final bit of thorium we need to be able to create the, uh, uh, the pickaxe. Let's make another dynamite. And just stick it right on, and then run. Oh, that's right, that blows up the back wall, too. Oh, that sucks. I don't like that. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, that's def... That's not enough. Shut up, phone. Are you kidding me? Ah, I just closed the game. There we go. Okay. There's that little spot that has the two thorium. Let's go get those. 
Once again, I apologize about this episode being extra long. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Run away. Probably gonna need to light stuff up again because it's probably gonna blow a little bigger than I want. There we go. Okay. Cheat again. Alright. Load this up. Load that up. Good. It's a lot quicker than actually traveling to the surface. Alright. We should be able to do this now, right? I said we should be able to do this now. Right? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? Thorium anvil? How do I make a thorium anvil? What the frick? That's a Thory man. Oh my god, I hate this so much. God dang it. Okay, so I guess we're not doing this then. That sucks. That sucks so much. Alright, well, anyway. Um, I suppose that's gonna have to be it for this episode then. Uh, just remember, uh, there's not going to be an episode next week, um, although I will try and stream, so, yeah, just check me out over on my Twitch channel, uh, the link is in the description, um, yeah, I think that should be it. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye.